All right, we are here at the V&A waterfront. It's pretty, pretty spectacular. There's a lot of cool stuff to do, including the Ferris wheel. A lot of shopping going on, a lot of hotels, and a ferry over to the other side. Uh, we're definitely going to be hitting up a food mall in a little bit. Right now, I think it's lunchtime after uh, walking around for a bit, so we'll catch in in the meantime. All right, I'm back at the food hall. Got myself a sick looking sandwich from that place right there. Hey everybody, I managed to make it to the Two Oceans Aquarium. Check out these fishies. They're so delicious. But I'm not eating them today, I'm gonna to be watching them today. We're at the aquarium by the V&A waterfront. Did some shopping. As you can see by this giant bag of goodies I've got in my hand. Some souvenirs and stuff. Hey everybody. I think I found Nemo. Actually, which one is Nemo? Is there one with like a smaller fin on one side than the other? I don't know, we'll have to look through them. Piles of Nemos here. Oh no, the stingray's coming to eat us. No, 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 no. I really like the pattern on this stingray though. It's pretty awesome. Those are the groupie groupers. Grouper is a fish. I'm pretty sure that's not those fish, but they are behaving like groupies to that big fish. It's apparently the coolest fish in the whole tank. Oh, there's a turtle over here too. Let's get to the turtle. Let's check out the turtle. He's gonna have to come back up for air at some point. Oh, what's up shark? Not a saggy shark. Definitely not. Lean, muscular, all that cartilage. No bones in a shark. All right, peeps. We are at Rapid Island. It's probably pretty windy out, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me or not. But back there, over my shoulder, that is Table Mountain and Cape Town. Uh, it's a pretty nice day out, very windy, but very nice as well. So, we'll see you inside. Peace out. They actually didn't allow us to record video inside of the prison, but the tour was pretty awesome because it was given by somebody who was an inmate at the prison, because remember, apartheid wasn't ended that long ago, so there were still political prisoners in South Africa as recent as 94 and 95. Next up was shark diving, but since I had the underwater case on my camera, the microphone didn't pick up shit, so this is why you probably can't hear me talking right now. The company that we went with, Marine Dynamics, also does a daily blog about all of their different trips, so I'll link in the description the blog about the day that I went, and we went in the morning session in case you're interested in reading through the blog. They also had a video available for people that did book online. We got it for free, but since it's not my footage, I don't really want to use it in the video. However, of course, I will also link that to you down in the description in case you want a more professional looking video that was not taken by somebody that eventually got seasick because Schwanz is not good at being out on a boat all day.
right. So after shark diving yesterday, shut up truck, I'm trying to do a video here. <laughs> Had a great time yesterday uh, doing some shark diving, but today is wine tour day. I'm at the lovely Franschok with some beautiful scenery in the background there. That is the tram office where we're going to be taking our tram. So I'll be showing you around the, uh, the village here at the foot of the mountains right outside of Cape Town and going to be doing some heavy bevving. We'll see you later. We're going to our first stop, Rickety Bridge. Sounds more like a place you don't want to go, but in this case, it's a place we do actually want to go. Uh, we'll see you when we get off the stop. It's pretty cool. We are just, you know, taking our trip through. That feels like we're on a wine safari. Look, what are we going to spot next? We definitely saw some guinea fowl. I don't know if they were helmeted or crested. Oh, yeah, maybe Not were really helmeted. sure. Um, but we're about to get off at our next stop. And hopefully I can spot some good beverages. All right, so that was one winery down. The rickety bridge. And we got several others to go. We're hopping back on our tram over there. All right, now we're in Morrison which sounds like a band name, like Van Morrison, but it's spelt with an E, not with an I, which is kind of weird. But look at this place. It is amazing. Plus, they have a gin bar, and I'm hearing the Dove right now. That reminds me of being on safari, but this is a nice-looking place, though. Let's try some of the wines. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not doing this right. I have to be more posh about it. It's good. It's like champagne but red wine ish. Bubbly. Like my personality. Oh, I am recording. Oh, hey. So, <laughs> we're in the lemon tree farm over here at. Uh, Morrison? Yes, Morrison. Jesus. I've only been to two places so far and I can't even remember the names of any of them. But yes, these are the lemon trees. Some of them have very small lemons like this guy here. Others are ready to go. Like this one there. That one looks pretty ready to go, right? Rocking and raring to go. Just like me. On to the next stop. We're only at stop number two. I think the next stop we'll go is uh, Leopard's Leap. And then after that We'll be back at the village where we'll have some lunch. We're going to the Tuk Tuk Brewery. So finally some beers to mix in with all of the wines that I've been having that, to be honest with you, I'm not much of a wine person, but the wines here are pretty freaking good. That's because South African wine is amazing. So we'll see you at the next. La 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 leopards leap. Place number three. Supposedly there's some good wines here, some sparkling wines amongst other things, so we'll check it out. Wow, check out this view, ladies and gents. Look at that. Stunning, awesome. Maybe not as awesome as me, but still pretty awesome. We're going to our next stop. That's the tram pulling up right now. So gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. All right, so we made it to the end of the wine tram. Tommy's feeling a little rough right now, I'm not going to lie. Went to a pretty sick brewery uh, called the Tuk Tuk Brewery. Had a burrito. Maybe that's why my stomach is not feeling good. 
What am I doing? It's not because I drank so much, it's because I ate that fucking burrito. That's got to be what it is. But it looks so good on the menu, it tasted real good too. All right, we are at Kirsten Bosch in South Africa. It's a garden. New York is pretty freaking far from here. It is a hell of a nice view though, up to the mountains up top. And we're going to be exploring the gardens later on. Maybe, hopefully, we'll catch some birds, see some other cool peepity bops. But uh, for now, we're just gonna take a look around here, take it all in, and uh, see some nice plants. I won't smoke any of them, I promise you. All right, hey everybody. Check out this view. It is pretty spectacular. And uh, finally using a stick, so hopefully it's more stable. Although I got a little bit of a wobble in me. Ooh. Just because I'm pretty high up now, as you can see. That's Cape Town down there, way down there. And way up there are some mountains that I definitely will not be climbing. And over there are some pretty flowers. And uh, yeah, let's go check them out. The Protea flowers. I think they're native to this area. I don't know what I'm talking about. There are lots of bees. Oh yeah, I do see them. But you could also see what they look like when they're partially opened up. They're pretty sweet looking. There's some cool looking flowers over my head back that way. And that is the enchanted forest. Woo, scary. Bet you we could find some uh, cool things in there though. Feels like, you know, a map of or a level of some like RPG game from like the Super Nintendo in the 90s, the Enchanted Forest. You know, one of those ones where it's a programmable like infinite loop unless you break out of the maze or something. Wasn't that like Super Mario RPG? Anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, we'll get you some more views down the walkway gardens. I think we got to go down that way at some point. So we'll see you down at the bottom of the hill because we were up there towards the top of the hill and it's a lot easier going down than it is coming up. Hey, hey, hey. it's uh, nice and shady in here. Actually, it's quite cool after being in that really hot area that we were in before, but it was a nice view so I can't complain, but it is feel it does feel good to cool off rather here over by the pond as you can see over there. And uh, I saw some birds flying in here before. Let's see if we could track them down. Oh my god, there are dinosaurs here. Well, the plants that are here were from when the dinosaurs were around. Those aren't actual dinosaurs, don't worry. We're not on Jurassic Park safari, you know. Dun -dun 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 and all that. But uh, these are some cool looking plants. wandering across random birds digging for worms. I gotta figure out what type of bird this is. Let me Google it. Some sort of ibis with the shape of its beak maybe? Perhaps. I don't know. We're not yet on safari so there's nobody to tell us nope. these things. We gotta do it ourselves unfortunately. You gonna get another worm for us bird? No? He's not the early bird not catching the worm. I saw him pull one up before I started recording. Stocky, heavy body with raven heart brown feathers. Does that sound accurate? That sounds pretty accurate. Adida ibis, so you were correct. Yeah. I don't know if that's the correct, correct pronunciation. Yep. Hey, hey, data. Yeah. Hey, data. All right. I was think you'd see a geese in a tree. It's crazy. The goose is loose, ladies and gentlemen. Just don't walk under it, it'll definitely poop on you. 
Now what we should do is I should put that in reverse so it looks like the water is coming out of the bottle. And All right, it's one last very, very foggy morning here in Cape Town. As you can see outside the window, we are headed on safari now. We have a flight to catch, and then we have another flight to catch, and we have a game drive to no, go we through. To we, got, we have two flights. flights. We have three flights. Sorry. I misunderestimated, that's not a word, it's now a word. I misunderestimated how, uh, how many flights we actually had. Um, but Cape Town, it's been real. It's safari time. That means our trip is just a little over halfway over. But the exciting part is about to begin. See you later. <laughs>